Hello and welcome to today's webisode. I'm Jeff Phillips, and if you live here in Pittsburgh, I'm sure my guest's face will be very familiar to you. Today I have Donna Bianco, and Donna, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeff. Why don't you explain to the viewers a little bit about yourself? Well, I have a restaurant here in Pittsburgh called Bella Donna, which means beautiful woman, and there's a lot of beautiful women that come into my restaurant, so they're all Bella Donnas. So I have Italian food, which um, I've grown up cooking, my pretty much cooking or eating my whole life. And a lot of my memories come from family and, and their food. So, I mean, I just like people to eat. And it's a, it's a great event for me and a great, great creative outlet for me. So how, how did you get started and uh, where, where did, uh, how, why did food or how did food get so, become so important in your life? Well my, well, my mom died when she was 21, and I had two sisters at the time, and one was three years old, I was a year and a half, and my sister Joanne was 28 days old. So we were really young, so I didn't grow up, when she died, I didn't grow up with a, a, a mother that cooked Italian food. But my grandparents, I remember just about every visit to both sides of the grandparents, both, both my mother's side and my father's side, and all of their food is extremely important to me. My grandmother's chicken soup, my other grandmother's pasta, they both cook different foods. There, there wasn't the same food at both of their homes, but all of the memories from there. I, I ended up when I was 16 being the cook of the house. So my other sisters were in sports, I wasn't. So, you know, when, when cooking came time to cook in my house, it was me that had to prepare the meals for my dad and, and certain things. So um, cooking, and then, I, and then when I went to college, I was with mentors, Italian mentors uh, that I lived with who taught me how to cook and taught me other things. So there's been a lot of people in my life that have influenced my cooking, but they've all been Italian and they've all cooked really good food. Okay, so uh, when did you first uh, get into the restaurant business? Well, when I, when I was, came here to teach, because I have a master's degree in special education, I came here to teach, and I really wasn't happy with the public schools in North Carolina. Um, so I, I wanted, I still had the passion for teaching, which I still do, um, but I really wanted to um, combine the teaching and the cooking. So I opened my own little school and I, with a little pizzeria attached, and I really didn't know how that was going to go, but nine years later, we... You know, we were pretty successful with students and, and good food, and, and I got a following, and, and uh, we just kept moving forward. Great. So, and, and now you have Belladonna's? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was getting a little, a, a little concerned because I really hadn't breached the cusp that, that put me into a financial situation where I could be independent and that the, the restaurant was making money. I wasn't losing money, but I really wasn't making money, and I was really had kind of made the decision that I wasn't going to keep open, that I was going to stop the restaurant. And by, by the end of December of last year, actually. And so all of a sudden, my husband calls me one day and says, Donna, Pizza Hut closed. And I said, no way. And I drove over there, and I went to see if it was true. And I was reading the little sign in the window, and out pops one of the CEOs of Pizza Hut and regional manager for North Carolina. And... They had just come in that day, hours before, and closed the place down. And they were apologizing for not being able to sell me a pizza. And I basically said, well, <laughs> I'm not here to buy pizza. And then they, I pointed to the logo on my car, and they said, oh, you're the one. And I'm like, well, I don't think I was the one. But what are you doing with the building? And from there, it just kind of kept snowballing. I, had, I didn't have one dime to buy that building, not a dime. And people came out of the woodwork, the people of Chatham County, to co-sign for me, to give me mini loans, to give me pretty big loans. And, and with all of it combined, um, I'm actually paying like $100 more a month than I was paying in rent at the other place. Wow. That's pretty incredible. It is pretty wow. incredible. So um, if, if there are one of you viewers out there are uh, looking to possibly start a restaurant or any type of business, uh, Donna, can you give, um, or just share with us what has been the hardest thing for you to, you know, as far as getting a business off the ground? Um, a lot of people will come around and say that they can help you. And I think trusting your own instincts and trusting what you know is 
absolutely the most important thing because you wouldn't have been where you wouldn't be in the position to, to take that jump if you didn't feel some sort of confidence. Um, some of my mistakes have been um, trusting other people to do things that they really can't do. And, and so, I mean, there's that. Then there's the, um, it's, it's, it's a lot about the people. Trusting people, getting a, getting a restaurant off the ground is is knowing who you can and cannot trust. Is that what knowing you're who you can and cannot trust, and you just need to trust your, yourself. I didn't have the confidence early on, and when we first opened in April, I thought I needed more help. But now, as of this point, I am doing all the cooking. I am doing all the all the cooking. I've hired a great pastry chef, um, and we're 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 knocking it out. Um, I have my son running the front of the house, so who can you trust more than your children? And my husband is running the finances now. So where I was seemed to be doing everything, now they have all we've all found our little niche in this in this one business, and and it's it's working out great ever since we've we've all found our spots. Mm, cool, nice. So um, if uh, someone wanted to start a restaurant today. What is something that someone can do in order to maybe be different than all the others, especially maybe these fast food chains? Well, first of all, you need to, you need to buy fresh. Our freezer is empty. Um, there's a few things in there. I have some bread in there. I have some stock items, you know, chicken parts pieces that, I, that I'll use for stock and shrimp pieces that I'll use for stock. They're, it's virtually empty. And uh, buy fresh, you know. Just have the food as little processed as possible. Um, and buy local, buy organic if you can. Um, our flour is made from organic flour milled right here in Lind Lindley Mill, Mills. And it's not local flour, but it's milled locally. Um, and it is organic, so that's what our pizza is made of. And that's, you know, I pay $18 for a 25 pound bag of flour here where other restaurants are paying $18 for a 50 pound bag of flour. I choose to, to take that hit because I think there's, there's something in the quality of that flour. I love it. But the pizzeria down the street who's buying the $18 you know, dollar bag of 50 pounds of flour is making a higher profit margin than I am and then my prices are a little higher and, and, and you have to understand that. People have to understand that when the restaurants in town that are buying local, that are that are buying organic, their prices are going to be higher, but you're going to have a higher quality product. Right, right. And I think people need to understand that a lot of times. I mean, yeah, yeah you can certainly go to the fast food hamburger restaurant and get a dollar hamburger, but right. you're also getting that hamburger. Who knows what Who kind knows, of right. garbage is in that hamburger? Where, you know, if you're buying your stuff locally from and organically, um, you know, it's going to benefit you in the long run. You, you know, I always say you either you either pay the doctor or you pay the farmer. You know, so I would rather pay the farmer. Yes, so. and I'm and I'm extremely healthy myself. I mean, I don't ever get sick, and all these people that work for me get are always getting sick, and I'm like, how can you be sick all the time? Right. You know, what are you eating? You know, and and it is about what you eat. Yeah. It is what you put into your body. Right. Well, great. Thank you for coming in today, Donna. And uh, if any of you out there are interested in uh, learning more about uh, Donna's restaurant, and, uh, or Bella Donna's, I should say, and uh, you want to see her full menu, uh, check out the website that, uh, that will appear at the end of this video.